welcome you all. Greetings to all of you on the occasion of World Environment Day. At the very onset, I like to request our Honorable Principal Sir, Delhi Public School Duryajan, Sri S K Sri Pada, to speak a few words on the topic World Environment Day. Dear students, greetings on this special occasion. Today is 5th June 2021 and we are observing it as World Environment Day. Observation of World Environment Day was started way back in 1972 when we realized that we are disturbing it. Many years it was celebrated in low profile but in recent past it has become more so important to celebrate and observe it since we miss the balance very much between the environment and the human lifestyle this day is dedicated to nature and it is to make our planet greener and habitable for future generations this day raises awareness about the need to care for the nature what are the most essential things for a human being to live on this earth those are a clean air to breathe which we have contaminated with the cfcs greenhouse gases and other pollutants and other side we are removing the plants also from the environment okay it becomes our responsibility to make the globe green once again so that we we will get the enough clean air to breathe and the second most important thing we require is clean water to drink and here also once again we are contaminating the water bodies on this earth with all pollutants maybe it is industrial waste or the nuclear waste or other unwanted things we are dumping it into the water bodies it becomes our responsibility to clean the water bodies which are there on the earth thirdly we are expected to have a good food to eat to live healthy all right and unfortunately we are spoiling even the food material what we are consuming by adding more of pesticides or steroids right and other unwanted material artificial fertilizers like that we need to curb the usage of all these things if we do all these things and if we go close to the nature definitely we will be able to establish the relationship and the close relationship what we used to have with the environment many years ago and then the globe will become a comfortable place for living for the future generations so it is we also must take care of the other species which are living with us okay so with this small note i greet you on this occasion once again and some of our students and teachers they have worked together to bring out a presentation and that will follow now and hope you will enjoy and another most important thing is please change your lifestyle so that you go close to the nature thank you greetings the theme of this year's world environment day 2021 is ecosystem restoration to brief up on the topic here is mr ajulochan saikya to speak a few words on the theme of the world environment day 2021 hello everyone the theme for world environment day 2021 is ecosystem restoration ecosystem restoration can take many forms like growing trees greening cities rebuilding gardens changing diets or cleaning up rivers and coasts now what is ecosystem restoration ecosystem restoration means assisting in the recovery of ecosystems 
that have been degraded or destroyed as well as conserving the ecosystems that are still intact. We all know that healthier ecosystems with richer biodiversity yield greater benefits such as more fertile soils, bigger yields of timber and fish and maintain the optimum level of greenhouse gases. Restoration can happen in many ways. For example, through actively planting or by removing pressures so that nature can recover on its own. Well, it is not always possible or desirable to return an ecosystem to its original state. We still need farmland and infrastructure on land that was once forest, for instance, and ecosystems like societies need to adapt to a changing climate. All kinds of ecosystems can be restored, including forest, farmlands, cities, wetlands and oceans. Restoration initiatives can be launched by almost anyone, from governments and development agencies to businesses, communities and individuals. That is because the cause of degradation are many and varied and can have an impact at different scales. On World Environment Day, we can take action and join Generation Restoration, which is a youth-led movement where a new generation of young people is putting the planet's health first. As outlined, there are three pathways to join the movement and improve the well-being of people and nature. Number one, taking action. This can be done by announcing an ambitious restoration project or policy initiative, whether at local, regional or national level. Tell the world what role you will play in a 10-year push. Volunteering for an existing restoration effort or joining an ecosystem restoration camp. Cleaning up a lake, beach, park or other natural area. Greening your home, business, school or a public space with indigenous trees or plants. Number two, making smart choices. This can be done by pledging a donation or other support for restoration or conservation initiatives, halting purchases of products and services that are not certified as sustainable, starting a new diet or catering policy based on seasonal, sustainable and plant-rich products. Number three, raising your voice for restoration. Make your voices and ideas count in debates about how to manage our local environment and how we can manage our societies and economies fairer and more sustainable. We can press decision makers to do the right thing. This can be done by putting on or participating in an exhibition of posters, photos or art showing the beauty of local ecosystems, holding a discussion about the value of ecosystems and the threats they cause, staging an online campaign to draw attention to climate change, nature loss and what can be done to reverse these trends, writing a letter to the local newspaper. So let us set off alone, not just one, but all these three pathways of taking action, making smart choices, and raising your voice for restoration on World Environment Day. It could mark the start of our ambitious multi-year restoration project, the day we kick unsustainable products out of our life, or the moment all of us begin speaking up for the environment. But whatever we do, let us celebrate the moment and spread the word. Let us take pictures of our World Environment Day activities and post them on social media with the tag Generation Restoration and World Environment Day to maximize our contribution to the restoration environment. Thank you. Always be in awe of people who can sing a melodious song. 
because I feel song can make you happier, release your stress and strain and make you lead a healthier life. Here is a talented student of class 7, Venetia Sangma, to present before you a beautiful rendition to mark the occasion.
is now going to present a talk on the topic regeneration of degraded soil. Hello everybody, I am Ashnandini Burman and I am here to deliver a speech on the topic regeneration of degraded soil. Geographically known as the lithosphere, soil plays an extremely important role in our life. Without soil, life would not have been possible. It is incredibly useful for us, both economically and ecologically. It is, in fact, the most important resource on Earth. Sadly, this vital resource of ours is getting degraded. Now, what is degradation? Degradation is the process of something being damaged. There are several causes for soil degradation. Some of them are uncontrolled grazing, irrigation, mining, and deforestation. Now, do we have a solution to this problem? The answer is yes. Regeneration is the solution to this problem. Regeneration means to grow strong again. But are we really trying to regenerate our soil? 90% of the people watching this video shall be doubtful. So then, are we misusing the soil? But then this misuse of soil could have ill effects on our future generation like frequent soil erosions, landslides, lack of food, forced migration to other places and most importantly poor quality of soil. This is an alarming problem but not a being is taking a step to solve this. This will have an enormous impact on both life and environment. So, if we do not take this seriously, we shall have to face serious problems later on. There are some simple measures which can solve the problem of soil degradation. We all should incorporate these simple measures into our daily life. So, some of the measures are Number 1. Control over grazing, irrigation and mining. Number 2. Demoting deforestation. If deforestation continues, agents like wind and water will erode away the topsoil, which is quite important for us. Number 3. Promoting contour plowing, shelter wells, mulching, etc. And number 4. The ultimatum, afforestation. According to 2020 census, India's population is about 1.4 billion. If each person of even half of the population grows one sapling a year, Imagine the number of trees after some years. But these measures should be converted into a habit. Else, it would be water off a duck's back. So, it's time to wake up and do something good for our soil, our nature and for our mother earth. Thank you. Here is another child, Ritkriti Raj, a smart and intelligent child of class 6, to present a talk on the topic solid waste management solid waste management solid waste is the unwanted or useless solid materials generated from human activities in residential industrial and commercial areas mounds of garbage are a common sight today piles of rotting waste dot our landscape fall our rivers and pollute our wells and lakes the various types of solid waste are municipal solid waste hazardous waste, agricultural waste, industrial waste, and biomedical waste. Improper solid waste management continues to impact public health, pollute local water, air, and land resources which contribute to climate change. The primary goal of solid waste management is reducing and eliminating adverse impacts of waste materials on human health and the environment to support economic development and superior quality of life. Waste management includes the activities required to manage waste, which includes collection, segregation, transport, treatment and disposal of waste. The 3R rule that is reduce, reuse, recycle can go a long way in minimizing solid waste. In the present time, contamination of highly contagious agents such as the COVID-19 virus has created enormous instability in handling healthcare waste. Modern incinerators should be used for disposal of these waste where waste is burned inside a properly designed furnace under very carefully controlled conditions to minimize emission of greenhouse gases. 
Such proper healthcare waste management may add some value by reducing the spread of COVID-19 virus. Lastly, proper waste management and recycling collection can help conserve our planet's natural beauty. As we observe the World Environment Day, let's remember that natural beauty is a legacy and a right for future generations and conserving it for their benefit is our responsibility today. Thank you and wish you all a purposeful and goal-oriented World Environment Day. The best way to know our surroundings is to be with nature. Plantation is one of the best ways to be with nature. The nature that fulfills all human needs and demands. Here is a short presentation which will highlight us that our very sincere children of our school has done amidst the pandemic. Tanisha Purohit, another young budding child of class 7, brings before you a talk on the topic conservation of water at the level of individual and society. Hello everyone, my name is Tanisha Purohit. I am a student of class 7 DPS Dilajan. Today is World Environmental Day, that is 5th of June and I wish to share my thoughts on conservation of water at the level of individual and society. We all know what is a finite resource, even though about 70% of Earth's surface is covered by water, less than 1% is available for human use. The rest is salt water in the oceans or is permanently frozen, and we can't drink it, wash with it, or use it to water plants. As our population grows, more and more people are using up this limited resource. Humans certainly use water as if it was limitless, and estimated 80% of all industrial and municipal wastewater, for example, is released into the environment without prior treatment. But fresh water is in fact scarce and is becoming scarcer. Over 2 billion people already live in areas subject to water stress. Therefore, it is important that we use our water wisely and not waste it. There are many simple things we can do to save water, just by turning off the tap while we brush our teeth in the morning and before bedtime can save up to 30 liters of water. Same is true when we wash our dishes in the kitchen. Fixing a leak is a great way to reduce household water use and boost water conservation. Similarly, using a bucket and a sponge instead of a hose for washing bike or car will help save a lot of water. We all can adopt smart use of our water resources through water saving techniques. Using water efficiently will help ensure reliable water supplies today and for the future generations. For water conservation to be effective, it needs to include all parts of society. Ultimately, as ecosystems provide water to society, a significant share of water needs to stay within the ecosystems for them to remain healthy. Let us all pull together and make a conscious effort for conserving water. A small effort of millions of people can give a big positive result towards the water conservation campaign. Thank you. Anusha Niyog an enthusiastic child of class 11 brings before you another talk on the topic purifying air in our surroundings a very warm welcome to everyone i anusha am here to deliver a speech on the topic purifying the air in our surroundings we have always thought of a dream place a place which is the prettiest place on earth and yes we can achieve that we can give our immediate place a clean and fresh look to maintain our dream environment. We should always remember the fact that small progress is still some progress and keeping that in mind, we can start with our home. Sometimes we might catch up some breathing problems, first sporadically and then regularly. You are admitted to the hospital but you are ensured of clean and fresh oxygen. But think of the same problems putting the animals in place of you. The chicken, the cow, the lamb will breathe the same toxic air resulting in an unhealthy dairy and meat. So directly or indirectly, it will affect us. Now, we might wonder about how to give a head start, how to keep something so big and gigantic clean and fresh. Well, the answer is, you do not need any muscular or physical energy to maintain the same. We need to take some affirmations and join the anti-pollution revolution. The first step is to germinate a sense of love and care for our Mother Earth. 
we can use public transport instead of bagging our SUVs. Say strict no to firewood burning, try using hand-powered or battery-operated tools, protect our gardens with manure instead of fertilizers, be a bit more idle-free, and abide by the four R's, that is reduce, reuse, recycle, and restore. You might wonder about its pros only. Well, it cleanses your lungs, it helps to decrease asthma and reduces allergic symptoms, it clears up your skin, helps in digestion, it also acts as an emotional and physical stabilizer which includes better mood and a normalized sleep pattern. See, it's a package full of happiness. Therefore, give a care, clean up the air, don't you dare pollute our air. Thank you. Charles Darwin once remarked, If I had my life to live once again, I would have made a rule to read some poetry. Indeed, poetry is one of the best ways to express one's feelings in any field or aspect. Here is a very talented and creative child of class 8, Apurva Singh, to present before you a self-composed poem on the special occasion of World Environment Day. नमस्कार मैं अपूर्वा सिंह कक्षा नौ की छात्रा आज आप सबके सम्मुख उस सार्वभौमिक समस्या के साथ प्रस्तुत हूँ जिसका अगर शीघ्र ही निस्तारण नहीं किया गया तो आने वाला समय मानवता के लिए अत्यंत कष्टप्रद होगा जिसकी झलक हम विभिन्न प्राकृतिक आपदाओं के रूप में देख रहे हैं यह प्रकृति की ओर से एक चेतावनी है कि अगर हम अब भी नहीं चेते तो आने वाले महाविनाश के कारण हम स्वयं होंगे इसी संदर्भ में आज मैं एक कविता का पाठ करने जा रही हूँ प्राणी सारे कर रहे चुभता एक सवाल कहाँ गया वो गे हमारा जीना हुआ जीना हुआ मुहान अरे अब चेतो भाई प्रकृति कर रही आज पुकार से नो करना अंदर बाहर कलश है चहु और दुर्गंध अपने हाथों कर रहे हम प्राण वायु का प्राण वायु का अंत काटता मानव जन्म मलिन हुई स्रोतस्विनी रोता उदी भयंकर माता कहकर प्रकृति को चूस लिया सब सार बंध्या कर दे जलनी को अद्भुत है यह लाल अद्भुत है यह लाल बना है भौतिक वादी निर्मल जल को भूल पिए बोतल का पानी पानी बिकने लगा है हवा बिके बाजार अब तो जागो नींद से क्या है ये व्यापार क्या है ये व्यापार चलो सब मिलकर आओ अपनी धरती माँ को मिलकर फिर हर्षा बहुत हुए सब नारे वादे बंद करो यह दोहन लिया प्रकृति से अनाथ की जो कर दो धन्यवाद वर्ल्ड एनवायरमेंट डे 2021. Thank you, one and all.